Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Academy. So today, as I said last time, we are starting off, uh, we're smelting some grout here, and we are going to make a smeltery and we're going to put it just over there by the base. Uh, but I realized, you know, these two furnaces, they're not going to be enough. So, uh, one thing this mod packed it at is wooden hoppers. They're from Tinker's Construct, um, which, you know, coincidentally is the mod we're working with today. So, I think we should make a few of these. Um, I realized I could have just done that, but whatever. And we can just, see they're a little bit different than the iron hoppers, but what we can do is we can just pop some more chests on there. And then we can just, oops, might be easier to just do this. And we can just put all our stuff in there and it will go a lot quicker. Put one there, put one there. We're gonna need one more. And then we are going to make one last wooden hopper. And there we go. Uh, that's going into the wall. Right there. Now we can just toss all of our grout in there. Once I break these blocks. Uh, and of course, I do believe we're actually out. No, we got some more there. Okay. Uh, so we were talking last time about the smeltery. And because I want to make this more focused on teaching people about mods now, because that's the focus of the mod pack. And I feel like that's just a better way to take this Let's Play, because, um, you know, I make tutorials, so the channel is already focused on learning. So um, what we're going to make and what we're already making is grout here. Um, and so there's a few ways to make it, but you get the same amount each time. So we just need some more clay, and it's sand, gravel, and clay. And when you take the grout, you smelt it into the sear bricks we got smelting there. And you can make all of these parts here. We're going to need them all to make our smeltery. So I'm going to go harvest some more clay, and we'll be back to start making those pieces. Okay, I got some more stuff in my backpack, so let's just throw most of this stuff in here. We're going, we're going to keep the gravel and sand. We'll just put all this stuff there for now. We can sort things out uh, later on. And so using the backpack, which I think I showed before, but if you shift and click on it, to open it you can whitelist certain blocks so when i harvest gravel sand or gravel clay and cobblestone you'll actually go right into the backpack like this so it's great for inventory management uh, but what we're, what we're going to do now is we're going to make some more grout and you can see it's just like that so we're actually going to need a lot of stacks of it because when you smelt this stuff it actually only gives you one brick we're going to need a lot of these bricks so i think we should also make some more there and I think that's, yeah, that's all the sand we have. Uh, but we can just toss about half in here. And then the other half in here. We should have enough fuel. Let's see what we got here. Um, Nope, we're going to need more fuel. Okay, well, while this is all smelting here. Actually, you know what? We have enough to start. Before I go mining for some more coal, I'll just show you some of the things you can make with this stuff. So, uh, most of it's under the seared category here if you just type in seared um, and the first thing we're gonna need if you actually look on the right there it's in really small printing but we're gonna need a smeltery controller so if I remember correctly this one's just uh, like that yep it's a smeltery controller and it's just like a furnace there and that's gonna be well it says the brain of the smeltery it's how you control it um, so that's where you input your items and all that and just stuff like that uh, then we're gonna need a seared tank so I believe we need glass for this one Let's see if we have any glass blocks remaining. I don't think we do actually. Um, do you need glass blocks? We need a seared tank. Yeah, so we're gonna need a glass block. Uh, let's take some sand somewhere. Oh, we're gonna need to do more of that. Uh, but we'll just skip that one for now then. Uh, we're gonna need a smeltery drain. So that's a, nope, that's a casting basin. That's one of them you do need as well though. But we need the smelting drain. Let's see if I can find it here. I don't remember the recipe. Yes, a seared drain. So it's just uh, just like that. Six seared bricks. We're going to make a few of these, actually. Because we want to be able to drain our fluids there a lot quicker. And they will get us more iron and every material, really. Uh, and then we're going to need some faucets. So we're going to make three there. And you place each of them on the drain right there. And there's another thing called the channel. Um, this one I haven't really used, but it's pretty good. It's the casting channel. 
So that one is you just make it like a minecart. And it gives you three. So these are pretty cool as well. We'll get to those later. And I think the only one we need now is a few of the sear tanks. That's what we put our lava in. And then we also need uh, just the bricks in general. So uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to get some more sand. And then we can do that. Alrighty. Okay. So I'm actually going to move a lot of this stuff towards the other house. Um, so I'm just going to make another furnace here, I guess, for the glass. And I think we should just take all of these ones. Um, and then we'll move it over there because I don't really want to keep coming back and forth. We can just get rid of this base eventually. Uh, let's see what we need to take with us. Let's take this materials and new book just in case. I don't think we really need any of this though. So we can always come back for it later. Oh, we need the trumpet. We need the trumpet. See? Uh, and we'll take this as well. I'll just over the new base and I can continue showing you what's up. Uh, so I think we should set up our furnaces just right here in the corner. Let's place them like this, maybe. It's fine that the block in the windows, we can always figure out something later. And then we will make these slabs. Uh, but what we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the smelting page. So there's all this stuff down here. And we are going to make the final piece of the puzzle. So it's just like that, and we want to surround that just like that, and we get the sear tank. I'm going to break this and bring it inside, but that's all we need. So uh, now we want to make some bricks, and then we want to just lay out our smeltery however we want. Uh, so while we're still getting these, I will just uh, dump all these into bricks, and just a few more of the other type too. The casting basin let me just do that three and then is it nine no it should be four i think four yeah so we're gonna want uh 18 oh we need a casting table as well yeah so to make a casting table you just make some pants like that and this one's actually more important than the casting basin the casting basin makes blocks while the casting table you put some casts on it and will make it into any shape you want and that's really important i can't believe i almost forgot that so where are we going to build this i'm thinking we should make it just over here it's a little bit of a, a jog but i think this will be the proper spot uh, my shuffle broke okay well i'll just clear this out and i'll show you how to make it so uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to get a 3x3 three three area here. And then you're going to lay out all of the bricks just in place. I'm going to make a shovel after I place these. Okay, and when you got these three down here, now you just want to keep surrounding it. Uh, so for me, I'm going to make another layer of seared bricks just above it. You don't have to have the corners, but I think it will look a bit better. Um, our smeltery will be a bit smaller though by us doing that, um, but that's fine. So you're gonna surround it all like that. And then when you build up another layer, we're going to put in the drains here. So I think it's actually the other side. No, okay, that's right. Uh, so we're gonna put one here. I'm going to put another one right here. This is going to be for our casting channel, go in there. And then I think I'll just put one more right here. Yeah, just like that. And then when you put your faucets on them, just like this, you can actually have them coming out of multiple sides, but because we're doing the corner, it's not really useful for us. And these are gonna be our two main ones right there. And then for this one, we're gonna take our casting channel. So when you click on this, the liquid's gonna form down here and it's actually going to, oops, I disconnected them. It's actually going to come along here. Once I connect these all, it's gonna come along here and anything below it, it's going to fill up. So we could actually have more basins there and we could just speed up the process a little bit. It's really good. Um, but for now, we don't actually have that. So we'll have to wait on that. So we're going to place our smeltery controller there. And because we don't have the back here, it's not going to start yet. We've got to place a bit more. And the final piece is we want to place the smeltery drain or not the drain, the seared tank. And we can place this really wherever. I'm thinking probably on the side here, and we'll just place all of the other ones like that. 
I think that's a good height for the smeltery to be. Yeah. So, in the meantime, I'm just going to smelt up more sear bricks, and I'll get back to you when I have enough to build this up a little bit more. All right, so it took me a little while, but I managed to find a big old pile of lava down here. What on earth is that? I don't know what that thing is, but it might be dangerous, so I'm just going to stay clear of it. Uh, but I actually found a massive lava pool here, and this should be able to power our smeltery for the time being. Hopefully a long time, and then at least until we get a lava fabricator or something. Something better that we can use to, I don't know, just create unlimited lava. Uh, so, I actually also found obsidian, because when I came down there's a big... That's a creeper. I actually found... Please don't blow up the ladder. I actually found uh, some water and I made a bunch of obsidian. And then, turns out you can also vein mine with that. That almost resulted in my death. But I survived, so that's good. And then I made a big old ladder coming back up. These stone ladders are actually pretty good. Uh, I didn't have any wood and then I realized I could just make a stone ladder. So that was nice. But let's continue on working with, with that smeltery. Okay, looks like our furnaces are all done here. And, oh, that's just because they were full. Never mind. Okay, well, uh, let's just toss more of our junk in here. And I also forgot my backpack when I went mining. So that was not good because there were so many ores down there that I could have gotten. Because I got a diamond pick now. That's good. And, yeah, it just would have been nice to collect a bit more of them. Uh, but, you know, what, what can you do? So, uh, I think now it's time to make some more seared bricks. So let's just uh, do that. And then we'll do that. And also that. Um, I got three bucks of lava. That should be enough to start. And we can finally get this thing up and running. I know I said I was going to build the corners first. Or like the whole thing first. But I kind of want to just have this thing all set up. Just so we can actually start it. So there, you can see. We have only a little, little tiny bit of slots there that we can fill up. And this has a capacity of 144 ingots. But if you watch, uh, we can do this. Whoops, that's a torch. If you watch this, then we can do that. And then the capacity is now 216 ingots. Is this smelting this? Whoops. Uh, it's probably trying to smelt me right now, so I'll just do that. You can also toss items directly into the smelter and start smelting it, which is kind of cool. Uh, but I prefer to just drop them in here. So say we wanted to smelt these, we would just do that and it would start melting them down if we had lava in it. But we don't, so we're not going to do that. Uh, I think you can melt obsidian because you can make obsidian parts, uh, but there's just a bunch of other things uh, that you can and, you know, eventually we will smelt. So if we look here, uh, we can go tinkers, and you can see there's three whole pages of stuff here, right here. Um, so there's like churikens, I think that's how you say them. There's pickaxe stuff, uh, hammers, which mine have three by three, mallets, shovels, um, excavators, uh, all sorts of cool things. And we're gonna be working on that now. So one of the first things we need to make is a tool forge. So this needs some iron blocks, seared stone or bricks, um, and a tool station. So uh, I believe that also works with the tool station so we can just use the current one we made. Uh, but we're gonna need a lot of iron. And now that we have this thing all set up, we can actually start to smelt that down. So the main reason I guess you would make this as opposed to normally uh, using a normal furnace would be to make these special tools. But there's a secondary bonus and in my opinion, it's probably the best one as what makes the Tinker's Smelter probably the best early game thing you can make. I think I might have some more in here. No, I don't. I'll just put this back on. There we go. Uh, and that is, it duplicates ores. So say we got 17 iron ore, which we do. We can run over here and we can just put it in like that. And it's gonna spread it all out there. And as you saw, we now have a capacity of 360 ingots because we made this thing taller. And now what we're going to do is we're going to come around here and we're going to fill up this thing right here. So the tanks, we don't need to fill up each individual tank. We can just fill up one, but you know, oops, there we go. 
Uh, and it's going to start to melt this stuff down now. So you can see it takes a little while. Um, and that's how much storage we can have for lava. But eventually, this is going to become molten iron. And I just want to make sure... Good. Nothing can fall in, because if mobs fall in, it will create blood. And if blood and iron mix, it will make pig iron. And I don't really want that right now. So, you know, we won't make that. Uh, but now what we gotta do is we gotta get some aluminum brass. So I got the book here. Materials in view. And I think this starts going into that. It should. Yeah, it actually starts going in the tools first. But one thing we need... Oh, I think we passed it. Nope, that was Electrum. Is we're going to need... I don't think it's in here. Um, nope, I guess not. Okay. Uh, but one thing we're going to need is this aluminum, or brass. Um, and we're going to use that by melting either gold or aluminum brass. Yeah, molten aluminum brass right here. And that will make a blank cast. So, I mean, gold's easier, but we could make aluminum brass here. And that would be with... Come on, isn't there alloys? Yep. Molten aluminum and molten copper. So let's go get some of that. So it turns out we don't have any copper, so we can't make the aluminum brass. But what we can do is we can take some of our flint here, we can take some of our gunpowder, and that makes these things. Uh, these are from Tinker's Construct as well. And all you do is you just throw them, kind of like a Pokeball or something, and you get all these blocks. And would you look at that? We found copper already. Isn't that great? Uh, but you know, we got five more, so we might as well use them now. And where's the backpack? Oh, here it is. Uh, let's actually just put it on auto pickup for everything, I guess. Um, let's see. And that should start picking up everything. No. Um, okay, wait. We want to pick up copper. We want to pick up cobblestone. We want to pick up aluminum. Oh, I gotta turn the whitelist back on. There we go. And let's just put the backpack on. Like so. No, like so. And there we go. Now we can just keep throwing these things in. And let's see what resources we can find. Uh, nothing yet. Looks like more copper, but I don't think these things actually explode. Never mind, they do. Okay, well, we found a whole lot of nothing, but we did we did get some copper here. We got six of it. Oh, and there's more down here, actually. Hmm. And there's clay, apparently. I didn't think we'd find clay down there. And coal, okay. Yeah, we got some decent stuff here. Let's just place that chest here. And we can leave the rest of this stuff here. Oh, I'm gonna need that. And let's head back to the base. So, I think the next logical step is to complete the quest, which it turns out we already have. How do I get out of here? Uh, let's try this. There we go. Uh, it turns out we already completed the quest. So when we get back there, uh, we can do that. And then I'll show you how to make it an alloy. Okay, so uh, if we go here, Constructive smeltery, we got all that stuff there, and then we can get some seared glass. And I believe with the seared glass, we can actually replace a lot of these bricks. And we can put the bricks on top of an even bigger smeltery. So there's currently nothing in there. So we can just start tearing this down. And let's put a window in here. Yep, you can see it replaced it. And let's try to smelt that. Uh, but we'll go back around here. And we can do the whole thing all the way around. And there we go. I added the bricks back to the top. And now we have a big old window in here. So uh, I guess we can actually watch it become an alloy now. I don't think it shows it. But you know. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to put some copper in here. I don't know why those disappeared. That's weird. They should hopefully come back. And then we're going to need some aluminum. Which we got in our backpack here. I'm going to need to figure out some better inventory management. Uh, we'll take our aluminum here, and we'll just chuck all this in here for now. Uh, and then we will put our aluminum there. And you can see they actually placed the block in there. You can't actually stand on it, but whatever. And, wow, that smelted really quickly. 
Uh, but as you can see, not all of it turned into the alloy. Uh, so it's currently converting more and more into the aluminum brass there. So you can see it's rising. And we can actually see it right on top. So you're probably wondering, maybe if you don't know how this mod pack works, uh, or the mod, uh, you know, how do we pick which one? So we want our aluminum brass. So what we want to do is we want to click on the actual liquid right there. And then it's going to bring it to the bottom. And the bottom one is going to be the one that drains. So we're going to take our, our iron ingot. So we're going to take our iron ingot. And we're going to pop it right there. And we're going to make an ingot cast. So then we drain our alum aluminum brass. And there we go. I think it ate our iron ingot for some reason. Maybe it gave back to us. I don't know. But now we have an ingot cast. And now I remember why I had the chest. Okay, well that's not important. But, uh, I'll just come over here and grab another one. And we're going to just make a bunch of different uh, casts there. Another way to do it is we can use all of this stuff, which we're going to now bring over there. Uh, we don't need the trumpet on us, unfortunately, so I'll lay that there. And we are going to take this, and then we're going to bring all this stuff back. Now you can't actually put these in there, so we get to make another chest. Real quick, and we will continue. Oops, any more planks? Um, th oh, they're not normal. <laughs> um, I'll just put these back for now. Just wondering why that wasn't working. Who knew making a chest would be so hard? All right, okay, so we got a chest, and let's actually bring some of the stuff over. So pattern chest, and we're gonna need all this stuff. Okay, so I brought over all this stuff, and let's just set up on the side right here. So we're probably gonna need the cast more often than not. So we'll just put them right there, and we can sort all the other stuff by, I guess, how useful they are. So stencil table, probably right there. Uh, part builder, tool station, Let's just all put it right there. So this one is going to be what we're going to upgrade soon enough, and I'll probably put it over there with the rest of the stuff. Um, and the pattern chest, of course, that is for making parts, and then that's how we make our patterns. So we're going to need a lot of wood, and we are going to start making our parts. So for the ingot, you saw we used an iron ingot, but you don't actually have to use like an expensive thing. You can just make it stuff out of wood. So we're going to make all of these parts here. They're the most important. They're for making pickaxes, so that's what we need. So you saw we did this before. We went through all of them when we made our other pickaxe. But for this, we're just going to do that. And it's all nice and simple. We can put these back now. Oh, I didn't know you could click like that. Put them in. Uh, but now we got our parts. So we're going to make a, uh, what is this? The binding, binding cast. And we have a lot of aluminum brass left. So we don't have to worry about that yet. And just like that, we make that, it'll get disintegrated. And we move on to the next one. So just like that, we're gonna go, go through all of these, making our parts. And this is a tool rod. I think you can use a stick, but I'm not sure. I think they're slightly different. There we go. And we got all of our parts right there. But as you saw here, I started using the casting channels and I actually made some more iron. So I'm going to have to put some more in a bit just so we can finish off that one because that's not going to harden until it's all the way full. But we got our iron there and then we just need the rest of it. So we'll do that real quick. Okay, so we got all the parts we need to upgrade our thing. So we are just going to just make some more bricks here. Really simple. I made more than I needed. Then we're going to come over here, grab our tool station. That's how you upgrade it. It's just a really simple recipe. As we saw before, plop that in the middle, and then we got the tool forge. Now, I think it's a bit early to use this one, but what this one does is it gives us access to more things. So we got the shurikens. Um, I don't really use them, to be honest. Um, I don't really use most of this stuff, but they each have like a different specialty function. And to make the tool, you just put each corresponding part like that. I usually make like a pickaxe, shovel, um, not really a hatchet, um, sometimes a matic, but not really. Um, but I like the hammer. The hammer is one of my favorites. It makes a three by three hole uh, wherever you mine. So it's really good for making strip mines. 
I also use the excavator, which is basically the hammer, but on dirt. And then for uh, tools, I use the cleaver there because it's it's like a slow hitting weapon. It's like the axe in the new combat, but it's even stronger and you can really like take somebody out in two or three hits. Um, I know a lot of people use this one here. It's like a long sword, the rapier, and it bypasses armor. It's really, really strong if you know how to use it right. Um, that one's a pretty cool one, uh, though you cannot get the damage that high, so it's like always a two or three hit. Um, sometimes you can make it a one hit, I don't know, don't really use it, I'm a bigger fan of the cleaver there. Of course there's like a normal sword, and then a long sword, and uh, the battle sign, a great one. Um, I think it's a reference to something like one of Vex's old super hostile maps or something. I think that's where it comes from, not exactly sure, and then there's also the frying pan, great weapon. Not sure if it is or not to be honest but there's all these different stuff and that's why we made the tool forge so to finish off here um i think we should make an iron pickaxe i think we should make the whole thing out of iron just to simplify things uh let's see let's make a tool rod we're gonna make just a wooden one so it's gonna we're gonna make a normal iron pickaxe and we're gonna compare it to our diamond one uh so that we're just gonna smelt that and then we will take our tool rod right there uh where is it pickaxe so we'll put that right there oh look it actually shows it hmm. and once this melts uh i'll just show you how to make the actual tools so we're going to take the casts here and we're going to take the pickaxe head and the binding cast first we'll do the binding one and we're going to take our molten iron just like this and we're going to actually see if this comes out cheaper than a normal pick so we started with one block and one ingot so that's 10 iron and then, there we go, we got that part. And then we're going to make the pickaxe head. I'm not sure if this is gonna be cheaper, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be better. And we're gonna make the tool head like that. Just wait for it to cool real quick. And then we got that. We'll put these things back and let's see how much we have left. So we have seven ingots. So it's exactly the same, uh, two and then one. But now if we come back over here, we're going to see that's better than a normal iron pickaxe. So it's pretty much the same right now, but we can add modifiers, right? So this is just an iron pickaxe, but it's tinkers. Um, I should have made a normal iron pickaxe, like a vanilla one, just to show the differences. But you know, I'm sure you get the idea. And what you can do here is you can put this in here. You can't put this one in here. Well, you can, but it's not going to be able to be modified. Uh, but with this, you can take all sorts of stuff and you can put modifiers on it. So if we take our materials and new book, which I seem to have lost, um, whatever though, I can just show you in here, Tinker's Construct. We can look at all the different things we could put on it. So most of this stuff is not modifiers, obviously. Uh, but if we find one here, there's the uh, sharpening kit. I think that's kind of one. Uh, silky jewel that puts silk touch on your pick. Silky cloth um, that's used to make the jewel. This thing here is the original mending. It was out before mending was in the original game. Um, I'm really glad they made it enchantment in normal Minecraft. Um, there is also slime crystals. I think you put them on. There is... I don't know, there's loads of things. You can put quartz on it for sharpness. You can put diamonds on it or emeralds on it. it makes it stronger um, in like some different ways I can't really remember. And lapis is something else. And redstone is speed. I remember that. So I think that's going to wrap it up here. So next episode, I think we're going to have to work on our storage. But now we have our smeltery and we can finally get into making some really good tools and well, we also have obsidian somewhere so we can go to the nether and continue on with tinkers as well because there's two really important ores for tinkers in the nether and we can go get that so that's going to be it for today's video as always thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye